invited people to try and be vegan for one whole month and we held their hand all along the way so let's listen to our participants and see what they have to say what did you think about vegans before the veganuary challenge i always thought that they were so awesome i've been wanting to be vegan since a long time actually before i thought that vegans were not eating very well they needed more vitamins so i thought they would get sick more often which is not the case i think that they are aliens green aliens yeah they are green creatures eating greens <laughs> i thought it was impossible to do it because meat for me is really important but after this month i i was very happy about myself i thought being a vegan was quite a difficult thing but at the end of the day uh, i was already vegetarian so i think it's very close to it we just have to add a few elements and that's about it what plant based health benefit was most important to you uh, rising energy levels well uh, my cholesterol levels dropped i had more energy to do everything and i was healthier and it was better being vegan than eating meat definitely uh, the energy level having a less of a, you know bloated tummy so what animal concerns stood out to you as most alarming but the little ones were taken away from their mothers um, the way cows are made to get pregnant and uh, their offspring are not getting the milk that they need the artificial insemination on cows mm -hmm. and uh, also about the babies uh, separated from uh, their mother the the fact that you've shared on the on the chicken they are uh, they basically lay uh, 10 to 12 eggs per year uh, and whereas now we are forcing them to lay eggs every day 12 times more i don't know how many eggs yeah so what environmental aspect were you most hopeful about in the future of veganism the impact on the uh, environment in general. Yes, the blood lake also I was like shocked to, to hear that. I would like uh, more trees to be grown around the world to have a better oxygen supply and also to have the oceans um, cleaned of, of plastics and all those pollutants which affect the fish. So what was the most challenging part, if any, of your one month vegan challenge? Grocery shopping. It was um, fun but also a little bit challenging. So I had to learn how to have a balanced vegan diet. Seeing other people in birthdays eating the cakes and uh, without any option of vegan food, vegan cakes, so that was the most challenging part. We couldn't eat butter, milk or everything that was because I like every morning I eat um, bread, butter and milk tea. So it was a little bit uh, difficult for me, but it was okay. Uh, the, the planning and the preparation, making sure that you have uh, all, the, all the ingredients. Well, for this month it has been quite easy because all the social events, etc. Were, we were past that. And this is why we need to encourage people to become vegan so that we have more options. So my mom was the biggest challenge, to be honest. <laughs> because she could not understand that I was not eating uh, cheese and drinking milk and she would keep on stuffing me with all the gulab jamuns and the rasgullas and the cheese stick which I was trying to avoid and just because of her I kind of missed a few days. Okay, so what was the highlight for you through this month of January? I lost about 5.4 kg, kilogram of weight. <laughs> yes, it's really good for me, I feel really energetic and alive. <laughs> Um, all the support and all the, all the people sharing the recipes on our group. So that was the best part. To be vegan and eat in a restaurant, nobody. Uh, the highlight of the month was how so many like-minded people came together to share their ideas. Kind of in a community of belongingness and support. Be becoming aware of the impact of non-veganism on the environment. Do you think you will eat differently going forward and in what way? Of course, I'm going to be vegan henceforth. I'm going to eat as I did for veganuary. 
because I really like how the way I'm eating. It's uh, much better for me. Yes, keeping up with veganism. I, I could do a second month being vegan. It won't, won't be a problem for me. So I, I certainly will not go back. I think, I think also just the fact of having done it for one month create the habit. I definitely think being a vegan has brought much more energy into my life and I will try to practice it as much as I can. So what do your friends and family think? They think I'm crazy, but well, a little craziness is needed in life, obviously. Before they weren't happy with it because so many times we had to eat uh, in groups, even family, my family also, but now they are accepting it and it's, it's easy now. Uh, I would rather say neutral because not many of my friends are aware of it. But they, they, they did not discourage me. They thought that I will never go and be able to do it, but they told me it was a joke that I can't do it because me and the meat is a big thing. And after I did it, and they still don't believe me. <laughs> I think we are stronger together. Well, my children also were listening to, to the Zoom uh, on and off and they are very, very much uh, into it. Uh, my friends and family are obviously totally different from me, but in an initiative to be more spiritual and raise consciousness, and as well to protect animals, plants, and, and the people around the world, and future generations for sustainability, uh, I think I would have to choose a different way from my friends and family. Did you see benefit in doing this as a group, coming together and building community? Yes, indeed. Uh, sometimes there were some lows, so then the support of friends was really important. Yes, definitely. Very good. Yes. As we were two, it was much more easier. We came together and we did workshops online, we met at restaurants, we met out in nature, we shared many recipes and it was really amazing the togetherness of the group. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, I'm sure that if I was doing it on my, myself, um, at one point of time maybe you get tempted by something. Um, whereas being in a group, having the challenge, etc. really makes it that you stick to, to that commitment. Obviously, uh, it's very beneficial to do it as a group because you have a very uh, strong support system. Otherwise, you tend to fall out uh, in your daily life if you don't have someone kind of monitoring you in a nice way though. <laughs> So is there anything else you'd like to add? Go vegan. And I don't know, I feel in another world, like I went in the clouds now. <laughs> yeah. It really had a lot of benefits on my, on my body, on my health. I'm, I'm really looking to continue on this journey. I would like to say thank you to Heather for so much energy, so much passion, and the creativity she's put into the work of Veganuary. In, uh, in attempting to, to make the planet a better place. So thank you, Heather.